So what's up, people? This is another Shine uh, Dragon Ball Fighters tournament set VOD review. So right now, we'll be looking at Laura Knight versus Echo Fox the Kill Sage. So the thing about it is... The Kill Sage usually does super well versus Laura Knight. I don't know or even have an idea on why that is. I th might just simply be because the Kill Sage is a better player. But I won't even try to go too far into it. The Kill Sage is super solid. And I really... I feel like the Kill Sage plays the game with the safest pressure, kind of, sort of. Um... I don't know. Like, he... I feel like he never really seems to overcommit too much. But he always tries to look for a little way to take as much as possible out of a situation where he shouldn't really get in. I don't know. The kill stage just seems super solid. I don't can't really even put my finger on why. He's just super, super solid. I like the way the kill stage plays a lot. It's not necessarily the way I play or the way that I want to play, but I like the way he plays a lot. So let's look at how he does versus Lord Knight. Lord Knight, I call him the master of obscurity. He obscurely he knows a lot of ways to obscurely open you up. Ways that you probably have no idea even exist. And then he picked up Ginyu, who's also a super obscure character. So it's just double obscurity. It's just annoying. Yeah, Lord Knight is just annoying. That's just the best way to put it. So let's see how this goes. So that, in my opinion, was a sneaky way to try to put Lord Knight in disadvantage. Kind of just threw out a key blast and then called Gotenks assist to try to lock him down. But Lord Knight handled it well. The Gotenks assist didn't get to him. Nice job jumping over the Rakum assist. And now you just punish. I'm going to just assume that was on purpose. And I think I know how he did it, actually. I think he did a uh, light medium and then light light. And then this is... Should have been death. So he's gonna switch. Yep. Good job from the kill sage. Realizing the situation. Ooh, he hit him with the Kazunoko. Kazunoko did that a lot at the summit of power. Uh, it's just super. Because usually you expect someone like medium, light, light, heavy, or something like that. But when you light, light, fastball, and you're just standing there, because when you hit the ground, you're naturally gonna be standing. And you just. You're just standing there, and you just get opened up by the uh, light. That's something else that he did. He just did. Ooh, you saw. How he just got mixed. Lord Knight, 16 was walking forward. He just got destroyed. Level 3. Nice command grab. He needed to do something. He needed to. That's the. Uh, that's the side switch. That's the Sonic Fox I that's the Sonic Fox Icer right there. He had to ice that pressure somehow. I don't actually think Sonic Fox is trying to ice Goichi, by the way. That's just a not funny joke. Ah uh, six M. Nice defense. Nice defense, nice reflex. Nice job getting out of, like, that key blast forward. If he didn't key blast forward, I think if he just threw out a key blast or key blast backwards, then he would have gotten command grab. But because he key blast forward, he got out of the trajectory of where the command grab would grab him. But he still ends up in disadvantage anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. And it looks like... The kill stage just messed up a meaty command grab and just died or something. I don't know what the heck just happened there. This is death. Because uh, he didn't even he doesn't even need the loop. That's just yeah, he's just dead. He doesn't even get to use sparking. Tragic. Yeah, Lord Knight needs to take some time. Think about what happened there. Ginyu has to play. Ginyu has to be able to play or he fails or he loses. That's why he's trying to... See, this is what I was talking about before. If you ever... If you guys see my... Uh, if you guys saw 
me talking about why I don't like Goishi's Ginyu. The way that you have to play Ginyu sometimes just to get advantage, like he had to sell out in Dragon Rush there to try to get Gohan in disadvantage. He wanted to get Gohan blocking something so he could get Ginyu going. But he couldn't stick, and then he got put in disadvantage. So now he's just being oppressed in the corner. Now can he block? Nice 2H. That's something, like, he, he has to sell out and be, ooh, that's going to be damage. He has to sell out and be aggressive, though. Wow, did he hit Birder and Ginyu with that vanish? Ooh, Purple Comet, doing damage. Lock him down. Nice block. If he reflected again, that would have been good. I think he could have reflected or 2H there. Ooh. 16 assists, too good. And this is death. Ginyu did not really get to play much. I mean, he got some, some things going, but he just couldn't keep it up. Lord Knight is just, I mean, not Lord Knight. I guess the Kill Sage kind of understands Ginyu a bit better. And most people I do. And of course Lord Knight still his Ginyu still isn't as good as it's gonna be. Nice nice reflect. Ooh, reflect into the five H. Switch slides. Good job. Now you get the ice. Think about what you're gonna do next. And the other person is probably overthinking. Now he just jumps out and... Oh. Get back in here. Alright, no. Just... Okay. I see. See. Two things that are... What the heck? If he waited a little bit. I think... Uh, If he waited and he gets the side switch medium, I think 16 gets opened up there. But a reason why I like that change is because you get the Oki on the incoming from the snap. And then you also get put in a situation where if you get that Oki, you can level 3, and then 16 has you sparking. And it's only a level 2 sparking instead of a level 3 sparking. And level 3. I don't think... Lord Knight is kind of stingy with sparking. I don't think he's going to spark here, because I think he thinks he can survive another hit. He just switches. I'm just playing neutral. Not, just ran up and threw out a 2 out. Sometimes it just bees like that. Level 3. He doesn't have 16 assists up though. Oh, he didn't even need an assist. That was dirty. Now, right now, Lord Knight has an advantage, but the Kill Sage has a really good Gotenks. And, oh, baby, he had all day to tech that, to be honest. Well, not really. So he's in block stun, and I'm pretty sure when you're in block stun, you have a smaller tech window. Like, instead of, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 20-ish frames, you have, like, 10-ish frames. To tech. He just gets opened up by the heavy. Now, the Kill Sage has character advantage, health advantage, and bar advantage. Ooh, that side switch was dirty. I think the Kill Sage, I mean, Lord Knight was trying to poke out also. Level 3. No, I didn't even go for it. Oh, I see. He wanted to bait out the sparking. Nice. He was in the air, so uh, he didn't have any more resources. He already used his double jump. He key blast away. So he was kind of trapped. He there, was, there wasn't much else he could do without putting himself in greater risk to be 
hit by something even worse than a command grab. But this is a dead 16. And then, Kamehameha. I can do this by myself. Well, he kind of didn't do it by himself. Goten was still there. He just says, go tanks. He just used ghost. I wonder what Lord Knight's doing. I wonder if he's... He doesn't have any headphones in, so he's not listening to music. I wonder if he's checking notes. Or something like that. How to not be oppressed by Gohan. Round start. How to get Ginyu started. In neutral. Round start. What is he looking at? How to beat the Kill Sage 101. Or maybe he's typing in notes for the future. So this time he, ooh, that time he chose a different approach. Instead of selling out by going forward, he kind of sold out by going backwards and calling in the, the Goldo projectile and then the raccoon beam. Make him block the projectile if they try to jump. Why did he 2H? There. So he tried to make him block the projectile if he tried to jump, and then they were going to fall into the raccoon beam. But for some reason, I wonder why he didn't 2H there. Oof. 2H starter. That's death. I mean, not 2H starter, 2M starter. Excuse me. Then you get Gohan back in. Now Gohan just gets to oppress your team. Don't block a medium. Now he blocked that heavy. Mm, couldn't follow up after that. Beyblade, but you're minus after that. But you have uh, 16 assists, so you're super plus after that. That was a nice backdash, understanding situations from both of those teams. Because you know you're plus, but you know he knows you're plus. So, safe thing for him to do would be to... DP plus assist. Safe thing for you to do would be not to get not get too greedy with your pressure. Backdash out. But he gets the heavy leg. So this is gonna be melted bar. You did you see? See that scaling on that move. Look at Gotenks' bar after he gets hit by legs. Like that EX legs was a level three for one bar. What the heck? If he got that extension, that was death. Level 3? No. I think he tried to get the extension with the... Uh, mm, he just lost the stare down. Get Gohan out of there for the blue health. Because he, he could have killed with Gohan, but Gohan had too much blue health. So let's just get him out of there, switching go tanks. But Lord Knight is not in a comfortable situation, but he's in a situation where he it's not all doom and gloom. Because you have Android 16 with level 3 sparking. Wow. He just got uh baited by by uh Staggers. He went for the Dragon Rush. That was kind of a safe thing to go for, but not really. Uh, tried to go for it. That's, that's death. That's death. Yuck. That scaling on that move grows well. The Kill Sage solidly dismantled that Ginyu team by not letting Ginyu even play the game. I don't think I think Ginyu was an advantage for maybe five seconds of that whole set. I think Ginyu had advantage.
can do a thing. Good job by the Kill Sage. Uh, yep, hope you guys enjoyed the VOD review. It's King Dub7 signing out. Peace.